Okay, so we have the last job of the day of this little two-day stint. Um, we're running a one aerial span, pretty long to be honest, probably 70 meters down the pole, and then we're going to be doing a fusion splice, which uh, should be cool to see. Um, I haven't done one in a while, but I uh, have a brand new splicer that I get to break in. Uh, it's just a single fusion splice, nothing crazy, but look at this beautiful view. I'm not sure if you can see, but those are the Rocky Mountains. Beautiful BC, Canada. Gotta love it. They're all back there, but it's pretty stormy over there. Yeah, see you at the top of the pole. Or AFL hybrid MPTs, hybrid drops. All right, we're up over at the second pole, and I'm gonna feed it down the backside here. Okay, pull. Wait, down, down. Okay, get ready to pull when I say, okay? Okay. Okay, drop. Okay, hold there. Get our clamp on. This is how I tension long spans. So you put it on enough that you can move it. Get your hanger. Get it put on. This is an easy example because I have like a round guy, but normally I work by myself. I have to do this by myself. So you hook it on. Here we go. And then I would pull this it's a little bit too tight to get it up. So look at the room I have to move here. It's one, two, three inches and it's down maybe three four feet and when i pull it up that four inches it goes up three four feet so still not enough because there's wire here so what i'll do is i'll pull it up a little bit first and then tension it to where i want which is right about there maybe a little bit less i don't want it to hang over that's good And we're good and while you're doing it you want to keep the hanger at the far end of it because it tensions on here if not if you put it here then it'll just slide and there you go if you keep it here it keeps tension here so it doesn't move while you're pulling but that's good there now I'm just gonna hang her on this side clamp rather my ladder's kind of in the way Bit. You can let go. Sorry. There. What I like to do is do a little drip loop in the hang in, in the clamp rather. Sorry, that's really windy. I want to line up so that I have room to swoop into the the. Yeah, there exactly. So, nope, more to your right. Yeah, around there. Yeah, just hold it there. I'm just gonna saddle it down the pole and then start the splice. Alrighty, uh, can you grab my toolbox? The tool bag. Okay, so I'm starting with the splice. Fusion splicer here, and this here, cleaners, try to strippers, cleaver, you go over? Yeah, get rid of that saddle, like loosen that saddle, push this into here.
Okay. So we have to prep both these drops. Might have to remove that to get it to bend in. We have our drop that I just ran, and we're gonna fusion fusion splice it to that. So let's see how much I need here. Got the coil here. One, two. That's about all I need. Don't want too much slack. So we're gonna strip that. And that uh, I mean, sure, it's kind of pointless. Oh, he put used that screw, that hole. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, just tighten that. Okay. So these are like splice trays that I'm gonna use, and then we're gonna tag it. This is a shrink tube that will go in here. Perfect. Make sure that's charged. Uh, should be turning on. Yep. There we go. Sweet. So that's on. Um, here. Little strippers make this easier. Can you strip this? Up or back? So just get in here and then strip to about there. Yeah. yeah, so just bring the edge of the blue things right till there. Okay, make sure you leave that loop. Nope, not like that. Nope, nope, nope. Closed. Shove it in. Okay, and these are brand new. You can probably get away with just one pass. Okay. See how you can hear it cutting? Don't forget gloves because the new blades usually uh, yeah. fuck up the fiber, like the, the fiberglass. Okay, so what we're at it, we can prep this. So this is a double fiber 2F. Got to be gentle with the strip. Don't want to cut the fiber. Make sure you don't crease. We'll go a bit further back. Double check, make sure you didn't kink anything. And then I'll go one more. Beauty. Cut the Kevlar. If you have little hairs or Kevlar. Put that away. And we're going to be splicing to blue. Always blue is primary, orange is secondary. Strip it back. Go into there. Just prep everything. Go into the second of the cutter now. Strip that back. Okay. So these have a built-in cleaner, which is interesting. Put in there, and it cleans the fiber. But what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cleave it. Line up the blue right to the edge, so you can see that. And then click, and they cut it down. That's ready to go. My assistant here, Taylor, can you hold that? So this has a really good camera. Right there. When we close it, we'll be able to see if the end is good. If it's not, we will re-splice or uh, re-cleave. We want it to have a nice clean edge. Now I have to prep this drop, which is ready to go. Um, okay, so I'm gonna finish prepping this into the nib. And then uh, I will do the same thing. So just tune in. Okay, we got this mounted in here. So now what you want to do is you want to try to match the lengths of your cables. So they're kind of even when you coil them up. 
so that's still there and then if I strip it'll be around there so it doesn't have to be exact but it being close helps so this is just a 1F you can kind of crimp the whole thing full always check you're not damaging it now we repeat the process we go second notch clean the cladding off and then should have done this first on another one but these are called squeaky cleans I don't know if you can hear it going to the left side of the fusion splicer put it right there in the v-groove match them up just make sure you're good here good here I have to reopen this. There we go. So the camera's trying to line up the edges and the degrees are way too far off. It's going to fuse it, but it's not going to be a good fuse. 0 0.0 decibels, actually 0 0.01 is not bad. Honestly, at the degree here compared to 0 0.2 to 1.8 is a pretty decent di difference. It looks like that edge wasn't the best, but that's fine. So we're just gonna do a fresh start. There we go. That's why it's called squeaky clean. Line up the white right over to the edge. Done. Pop that guy in. Beauty. Cleave. So before I close this, I'm going to change the setting and then I will come back to fuse. Okay, it looks like the right side is good. This side, it didn't like, which yeah. makes sense because that's the one that uh, the cleave, the cleave is not working for some reason. I've done... Okay. 0.3 to 0.8. I'm happy with that. Lines it up. Fuse this together. 0 0.03. Not very good. Let's let's see this. I'm going for a zero decibel. Zero decibel. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. So now we have to open this. That starts to preheat. Open that up. And we want to be very careful here. Open that, open that, slide, want to hold right here, so we slide this over, being very careful here, center that, and then we'll pop that guy right in there, and that heats, heats up. So this will shrink that heat tube. Boom, 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 as soon as it's done, and then we're pretty much done. We have to put it into one of these splice trays and carefully wrap everything up into this. Looks like it's done. And we have a successful fusion splice. Zero decibel loss, that's what we were looking for. This stuff is fun to do by yourself. No, I'm kidding, eh? So, again, this isn't ideal. These D-marks aren't set up for splices like this, but it gets the job done, you know? Okay, not a big deal. This thing came loose. I had to make room for this. So, just gonna label it. Need to put this guy label here, showing that it's a fiber drop splice. 
and uh, we're pretty much done. So I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this together. It was a little iffy, but in the end we got the end result. So just got to be patient. Um, and yeah, that's about it. We're done our two days of hard work. And uh, look at this beautiful, beautiful view. You guys are probably looking at the ground. <laughs>